Hey everyone, I'm Harley and it's really nice to see you on our channel. Welcome back. In this video, we are going to review an amazing plugin called Advanced Wool Labels. With this plugin, you will be able to create badges, labels and display them on your website, on the products of your shop and attract even more potential clients. So if you are ready, let's start. And as you can see, advanced wool labels looks like this on the WordPress org. Uh, basically, you will need those labels to uh, display discount value, uh, product quantity, product rating, shipping class, stock status, etc. Uh, this plugin comes in also with the lots of useful features such as unlimited number of labels, two positions, custom text, text variables, and of course the premium version. Uh, I will leave the link in the description down below to both of the versions. And over here we can see that uh, this product has more than 8000 active installations and it gets regular updates. Also, it has 5 out of 5 stars on WordPress, which indicates the reliability. Now I suggest that we download this plugin. In order to download this plugin, we need to go to our WordPress backend and uh, click on plugins, then on add new. On the search line, simply type advanced wool labels, our advanced wool commerce labels. And I already have this plugin installed, but all you need to do when it shows the results, you need to click on install now and then activate. And it will appear on the left side menu of your dashboard. Here it is. Uh, we have all labels, add new settings and premium. So first of all, let's add a new label and in order to do so, we need to go to the add new page or from the all labels page, simply click on the button, this one or the one that is down below. Let's click on the blue one and it will redirect us over here where we can add the label itself. First of all, let's name it. Uh, the name I think should be simple. For example, it can be sale discount. Uh, then down below we have label conditions where we have various display rules such as stock status, visibility, price, sale discount, quantity, shipping class, uh, some rules related to products, even users and pages. But we are going to choose the is on sale option and it will automatically set equal to and yes, which means that the labels are going to be displayed only on products that are on sale. And down below we have label settings, such as label text, but we will get back to it in a bit. We have templates, um, we have five templates to display the labels, but I think I'm going to choose either this one or this one. Let's go with this one. I think it looks quite nice and attractive. Uh, then we have position type. Uh, on the position type, we can choose on image or before title uh, and it will automatically change on our visual editor so we can see how it will look. I'm going to leave it at on image. Then we have positions such as left top, center top, right top, etc. But let's just leave it at the left top. I think it looks nice over there. Uh, then we have set custom styles option which we can enable and select a color for our label. Also, we can change the text color. We have font size, font style, um, let's leave it at bold or italic. No, I think bold is better. We can change opacity, padding and margins. Also, we have custom CSS box in case if we need to do some customizations. As I have said, now let's add the text for the label, which is going to be sale percent of. However, you can add various texts such as discount percentage, discount amount, sale dates, product uh, rating, quantity, etc. And afterward, all we need to do is to hit the publish button that is over here. Done. Our labels are created. Now all that is left to do is to check out the look of our final label 
uh, from the front end. Here, by the way, we can activate or deactivate labels that we have created. Currently, we have only one, and we are going to leave it at activate sh surely. So here we have products, and this one is, for example, on sale. Let's click on preview. And when we click on preview, we see that the sale is 50% and it automatically displays the percentage of the sale. If we go back and select preview this product, uh, which is which sale is 20%, it will automatically show that it is 20% off, as we said in the settings. So you do not need to do uh, customizations over here, it will just display everything automatically. And besides everything, we also have settings for Advanced Tool Labels plugin and the premium version. Uh, when we go to settings, we see general and premium features. Uh, premium version of this plugin offers amazing features such as emojis, more text variables, lab label custom links, label styles, ACF plugin support, etc. And in the general settings, we can see a show default sale label, we can show or hide this, we can show or hide the out of stock label, uh, same goes with single product. We have label groups settings, such as label alignment, distance, maximum number of labels per product. We can change everything in the settings that we want, including hooks, and all we need to do after making necessary customizations is to click on save changes. So guys, that was all I wanted to tell you. I hope you liked this video and if you did, do not forget to check out the description down below to find out links to this plugin to be able to download it and also to find the links to the pro version of advanced tool labels. See you in the next video. Bye!